Locals in Elkhart County, such as Jerry Brown, have recently noticed shorter hours and changes in local businesses due to staffing shortages. Some of the restaurants, they've had reduced hours as well. Uh, and also, the, uh, there's, they don't have enough help to man when they are open. Globe News caught up with Jeremy Bontrager, co-owner of The Electric Brew. Not only here at The Electric Brew, but also in other places, you've noticed signs that everybody seems to be hiring. We reduced the menu options to make it easier for the newer people coming in. Dutch made Chief Operating Officer Stacy Bice explains how staffing shortages have affected her small business as well. We've had to shorten our hours. We've had to actually close some days because we don't have enough people. Our people that we do have are end up working sometimes longer hours. So there's very few people actually looking for a job right now. And that's, so it's very hard for us. Due to the pandemic and the leniency that it allowed, less people are applying for jobs. I think it's, it's probably a lot of things. I think COVID has probably entered into it. Uh, I think a lot of people have decided um, after COVID that I'm not sure I want to work for the wages that these places places pay, given the risk that I may be taking or what else I could be doing with my time. I think COVID had a huge part because I think when COVID started and things started shutting down, there were people who instantly just decided to, okay, I'm going to retire, I'm going to not work or stay at home with my kids. A lot of businesses that need to try to keep up, I know the RV factories, RV companies, are way behind on their orders, so they need to hire as many people they can to be able to get caught up, which then in turn just kind of affects everybody else in the area if the RV factories are trying to hire anybody they can get. So we're a small business. We have 30-ish employees at, at any given time. Um, and we compete with like the RV companies and larger factories around here. What they can afford to pay people $18, 20 an hour, we can't. We can't compete with that. And so we have a lot of people that are taking those types of jobs, I feel like, instead of in the food service industry, because food service industry is not, doesn't pay near as much as what something in an RV factory would pay. Local community members and business owners are hopeful that things will soon improve. I think part of it is going to be they're probably going to have to pay more. They're going to pay higher wages to attract people. You know what I mean? We've always got stuff out there that says that we're hiring. It's just a matter of getting people in the door and getting them to stick. Court Tumbleton reporting for Globe News.